been a few questions about how to uh, change out the air pressure gauge on you know, spin lock tanks, whatever tanks you got and all that good stuff. So I'm going to do the uh, JSD regulator, which is, uh, you know, I just happen to have an extra one laying around, but all the uh, the air gauges are pretty much the same. People are blowing out the fronts of them on uh, whatever tanks you got and all that good stuff. Anyway, so it, it's pretty simple. The JDS regulator, it's uh, it's got... You know, basically shaped like a bolt and everything, so you can just unscrew it. This one's already loose, so I'm just going to show the basics on how to do it. You, know, you unscrew your old one. Pretty simple. Bang. It unscrews off of whatever you have it on. And then the, uh, the Teflon tape, you're going to want to put that on you know, to prevent any kind of air leaks. So you, know, you take a few inches of it, bang, just like that. Pinch it off. And you want to put it on... Now, when it comes to putting the, uh, the Teflon tape on all that good stuff, no matter what you're doing, whether it's your refrigerator, uh, water lines, an air line on the JDS uh, regulator, whatever, you want to put it on there to where it uh, does not come off with the threads. So, you want to put it on there the way it screws on with the threads and all that good stuff. Mm, so... You screw it on the threads. Yep, there we go. Bang. So it's basically the opposite way that it turns into the threads. Because what you want it to do is fill the gaps but not unscrew when you're screwing it. You don't want it to, uh, to basically come off and all that good stuff. So there we go. You do not want it to plug any holes. So you want to put it on the threads only. And you want to put it on to where when you screw it in, it doesn't bind up in the threads and all that good stuff. So you put it on there, screw it on, tighten it down, and then you take whatever tool, you know, that fits onto the uh, the air pressure gauge and then just, you know, snug it down. You don't want to crank it down to where it's uh, so tight it strips out threads or anything like that, but you just want to crank it down a little bit more than hand tight. And the Teflon tape does nothing more than uh, seal it up. It's like a, uh, a thread lock or whatever, so you don't get the air leak in between the threads of the air gauge and whatever you're screwing into. That's all the Teflon tape's for. Teflon tape gets used for, you know, everything. It gets used for this, any kind of brass fittings you got, excuse me, fuel fittings, water fittings on your refrigerator, washer dryers, everything you use. Throw a te uh, Teflon tape on there just to make sure it doesn't leak. Anyway, so that's how it's used on these for high pressure gauges, all that good stuff. Um, if you have an Air Force gauge or a, uh, a JDS regulator gauge and all that good stuff, highly recommend swapping them out because this one, like right now, this one is supposed to sit at zero because there's no air pressure, but as you can see, it's sitting in between zero and the, the lines below it and all that good stuff. So what I'm gonna do on my tanks and all that good stuff, I'm gonna switch them out for the Talon Tunes uh, air pressure gauge just because it's, uh, it's a it's a much better gauge and everything. It's 15 bucks. Replace the original gauge. You do it the exact same way, and it's uh, so much more accurate. Plus, it's got more increments in between. So whereas this one only has uh, you know 500,000, 1,500, 2,000, the uh, Talon Tunes is actually broken down into, I think it's 100 uh, foot pound increments and all, or 100 PSI increments. So, you know, mine's on their way, and I'm going to replace mine with, you know, for the original gauges on these, and we're going to see what happens. If you got yours and they fail, replace them. If they don't fail, use them. If you want something more accurate, replace them with the Talon Tunes one. But until then, you know, uh, hopefully this helps people out. That's how you replace, you know, fittings on your pretty much everything. You, you unscrew it. It's stupid simple. Put it back in. Make sure you use the Teflon tape. It's like $1.99 a roll, and uh, you won't have any air leaks. Hope this helps people out. Have a good one.